Hello everyone, please welcome and join me in Steps Cooking. Today, I'm going to share with you whole chicken. And I'm going to make a whole chicken like a tandoori style in air fryer. And how do I'm going to make it tasty and juicy? I'm going to share with you. I'm going to remove the skin and I'm going to wash it with the cold water. It's a fresh chicken. One onion, one inch ginger, one green serrano chili, garlic cloves. These are frozen and I'm going to use 10 of them. And I'm going to put it into the bullet, the processor, and uh, we're going to make it smooth paste. Other ingredients, grinder powder, red chili flakes, tandoori masala, cumin powder, salt, black pepper, garam masala, each one of them, one teaspoon and two teaspoon parsley flake. I'm going to share with you how to make our chicken moist and juicy. I'm going to use one cup of water that's going to be hot water. I have uh, 10 garlic cloves. We're going to put it in and green chili and ginger. We're just going to cut into small pieces so then it's easier to make a smooth paste. And onion, we're going to do the four pieces. This is perfect. And we're going to put it on. Tighten the blade and we'll make a smooth paste. It's almost done. If it gets stuck, it's a good idea to move around. And one more time. It's all done. So it's a nice and smooth paste. I have it taken out and I trimmed the fat and I washed it with the cold water. And now what I wanted to share with you that I'm going to make nice three cut. One, two, three. It's a big chicken. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, and three. The whole reason we're doing the cut, when we're going to marinate our chicken, the masala will go inside. And we're going to make a nice cut like this, on this side, then like this. On the drumstick, one on this side, then we're going to do it on one on the other side. So we're going to make it nice size cut. And now we're going to turn over again and we will make it cut on this side. Like this. So any fat visible right at this moment, when we're going to cook it, it will be nicely melt away. So we're going to have healthy cooking. And I'll bring ginger, garlic, onion, and green chili. So I'll scoop out all the paste. Now I'm going to bring all the dry spices, combine them, and that's going to be our marination. And now we're going to mix it well. Once it's nicely combined, tandoori masala is going to give us nice color. This is looking good. Now it's really important that as a personal hygiene, your hand should be really clean. And I'm going to bring the chicken and we're going to marinate with our masala. We're going to grab masala and we're going to massage it well. Like this. Grab good amount of masala and make sure that inside the chicken it's all nicely marinated and all the masala goes into each curd. It's nicely marinated and now I'm going to put the plastic wrap and we're going to put it in the fridge for two hours. The longer the better. If you do it overnight that will be the perfect but I'll do it for two hours. So get a plastic wrap and we place it on top. So as I mentioned that uh, put it in the fridge for at least two hours. So we'll put it in the fridge. The whole chicken is marinated for two hours. I just took it out of the fridge. One tip I wanted to share with you, when you do the cooking with the air fryer, I'm going to use one cup hot boiling water. Please make sure it's hot. And I'm going to put water right underneath. The strainer. It's like a strainer. You don't want to put too much water then it will be touching it. You don't need too much water in there. So now we're going to take out the plastic wrap. 
Wow, look at the chicken. They're looking so good. I'm going to lift it up and this I'm going to put it place it right inside the basket just like this. So this is looking good. I'm just going to make sure that wipe off the extra masala. So I'm going to place it the whole chicken inside and we're going to cook it. We're going to turn it on. We're going to keep the temperature on 400 degree Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. Now it's going to start. It started. After 15 minutes, I'm going to turn the chicken. Then after another 15 minutes, I'm going to bring the chicken back to the same position. So altogether 30 minutes. Then the five minutes, the remainder, we're going to put the chicken upside down again. Within 35 minutes, our whole chicken will be cooked. It will be oil-less, oil-free, healthy cooking. The whole reason I added water, that's going to keep the chicken moist. The chicken not going to get dry. So when we're going to eat it, it will be moist, juicy, and tender. 15 minutes of cooking. I'm going to open it. Wow, look at this. Nice color. And now we're going to get the chicken and we're going to turn it over. Just like this. This looking perfect. We're going to place it back again. And it will start off at the same time what it left off. 20 minutes so we're gonna come back 15 more minutes later cooking for exactly half an hour 15 minutes on one side and 15 minutes on the other side five more minutes to go I'll open it Wow look at this this is a perfect and we still have a water underneath yes this is fully cooked but the five minutes it's going to give more crunchy texture and it will start where it left off five more minutes then it will be all ready we almost done it's one minute left it's done we're going to wait for the final beep i'll unplug it i'm going to open it wow look at this that's a delicious the whole chicken in air fryer. It's perfect. And if we look at inside, we still have the water. Helps keep the chicken moist. So now we have a healthy chicken, our delicious, healthy, whole chicken roasted in air fryer. Look at this. This is a perfect, nicely done. Within 35 minutes, the whole chicken is ready. It's so delicious. Please try it and you're going to like it. You can serve as a main dish, you can serve as an appetizer, or you can serve with the rice flour. This is a perfect whole chicken recipe. Please try it and you're going to like it. And if you like this recipe, like always, like, share, and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.